Hello. God bless. I'm in the turning points today. It's another one of my daily devotions. This is for June. It's in their third title, Keeping the Faith. This one's entitled Keeping the Faith. Looks like I got July over here. It says the great creation. Reflecting the Savior. Reflecting the Savior to the world. So this is June. Let's finish out June before we hit July. It's Monday the 24th. And it's entitled No Exceptions. And be kind to one another. Tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4.32 We will occasionally hear of a tragic event perpetrated by one person against another. Whether intentionally or accidentally, the harm is so deep that the hurt party will say, I don't think I can ever forgive that person. Humanly speaking, we can understand how pain can motivate such a reaction, but there is no biblical justification for it. The Bible clearly teaches that there are to be no limits, no exceptions to our forgiveness of others. Matthew 18, 21 through 22. Because of a statement Jesus made to religious leaders in his day, some people think that there is a sin so grievous that God will not forgive them. That is, they wonder if there is an unpardonable sin in God's eyes. Yes, Jesus said that blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Matthew twelve thirty one through 32 but he was referring to people whose hearts were so hardened against God's revelations of himself that there was no coming back. There is no unforgivable sin for those who want to be forgiven. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. 1 John 1, 7 the standard for our forgiveness of others is the way God forgives us without exceptions. Ephesians 4.32 Turning point. We are most like God when we forgive. William Arthur Ward I love you all. Go win the day.